inspired thinker. I hope this subject line caught your attention here on Valentine's Day. And my encouragement to all of us is to do the uncomfortable thing today. And I have a guess that the uncomfortable thing, I'll speak for myself, is to first shower love on me and then think about the people in my life that I want to share some love with. But choosing self-love first before loving up others. That's an uncomfortable choice to go inward, appreciate ourselves, maybe do something for ourselves that um, we'd really like to do, but we aren't allowing ourselves to do. For me, it's been interesting the last few weeks. I've felt this tension, like I'm navigating this tension and my brain has been trying to figure out like, what's the tension? What What's going on? And I realize it's the tension between my intention of this year living and operating with more heart, less hustle. More heart, less hustle. My brain wants to hustle. My brain is telling me I should be doing more, scheduling more, creating more. And my heart is saying, no, 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 don't do that this year, Diane. You did that last year, didn't go well. My heart is saying, slow down. My body is saying, move more. And I have been honoring that. I've been slowing down my mornings. I've been exercising in the mornings. I'm, I'm on the cold plunge bandwagon now, doing a three minute cold plunge two or three times a week. That's uncomfortable, <laughs> but it is an act of self-love because I feel amazing the rest of the day. So the last few weeks I've been choosing my heart but my brain really wants to sabotage me and pull me into some old habits of thinking about what everybody else needs first before I choose me. So if that resonates, I really hope you'll choose you. Do it today, Valentine's Day. Choose you. Choose a moment today where you'll say yes to yourself. Maybe you'll just turn everything off and have a cup of tea or have a really great piece of chocolate. I think that might be on my list might go with a great glass of wine, but choosing my needs first so that I can really show up fully for the people in my life and in my business. So let's get uncomfortable. Let's choose us first and see how that feels. So join me in the discomfort. Thank you for listening and being part of this beautiful community. We do actually have some amazing things unfolding here. And I don't have to hustle. I'm just going to let my heart lead and see where that takes us.